How's it going, my dandelions? Welcome back to Founder's Fortune. Now, it took me about 10 minutes to find people that I want with at least two of my personality. But guys, before we jump into it, I gotta big, give a huge shout out to my Patreon, Liam. Love you long time, bro. Thank you so much for uh, constantly supporting me. Shout out to my Discord. Everything else. As you guys know, this was a game that started my gaming channel. So I want to go ahead and complete it. I've never completed it. I've made quite a few videos on it, personally. Um, but I never went through the full tech tree and everything, and I really want to get that done. Now... I will apologize if there's any baby noise in the background or any sneezing. It's okay if you do eat any of those things, Alicia. Don't worry. Um, but our little baby's over there getting fed, so that's what's going on here. But let's jump right into it. So we got Marvin Lehman, a.k.a. If you want to be anybody in this series, you have to message me privately on Discord. That is the only way you're going to get a name in this. Comments down below would be cool, but trust me, I would rather this because it shows people that actually support me or in my Discord where people can support me on dis on YouTube in the comments, but doesn't mean you watch all the videos, and I want people that are definitely down to watch my videos to be in this vi be in this game. So, right away, Marvin's instantly taking it up. Liam's my Patreon. Liam always gets first dibs on names. So, guys, if you want to be Marvin, I'm sorry I can't be it, but somebody can be Helen. So, Marvin has allergic to tomatoes, takes one point to get rid of that. That's fine. Tireless Optimist, perfect. My two favorite traits right there. And then Fast Learner is this chick, and she's tireless. She has bad health. That takes that two, two to three points to get rid of. Not bad, easy to fix. So, jumping straight into it. Woo! One more thing. Aging is on slow because I get connected to my people. I don't want to see them die. It's really sad. So, right away, pause the game. Find out where on earth we are. And see how things go. Because I don't want to be between goblins. My people are special. Let's just say that. Sometimes. And they like to charge headfirst into bad guys for some reason. And uh, no questions asked. They just like to almost like suicide themselves so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab them and honestly right here wouldn't be too bad but we're in between literally three camps so my best bet would be to live on this side of the area but there's not much here honestly it's kind of sad Ooh, oh my gosh right here it's like actually perfect oh actually right here is like Woohoo! right here's where we going that's for damn sure so right away guys like always make sure you get your beacon up boop Make sure you get your sleeping bags up, bloop, bloop. and then make sure you get your food. Doo -doo -doo. All right, so right away, we are instantly ready to go ahead and get our characters to start living here. Now, again, I don't know where they are. Sweet, there they come. And uh, yeah, we got cows here. I think we got pigs over there. We do. We got a giant goblin army over there, which I didn't even notice. But all right, right away, first things first, farming, then writing. Writing is going to save your life, especially if anybody breaks their bones or something like that. So right away, I'm going to take ownership of that. You're going to construct this. Take ownership of that. I'm going to pause the game, and I'm going to do a layout of a house. You start with 115 wood. That's pretty much enough to get you a little home going. So I want my farmers to be up here by the apple trees so they can basically harvest all that stuff. I want my alchemist kind of scholars over in this area, and then I'll have my miner over in this area, which is actually really good because... Not only is the iron there, the stone's there, and then so are those. And then we can also have some cotton down here, which is fantastic. Now, before I do the house, I'm going to designate certain areas. So, I'm going to have it designate, chop down this area here. So, that's good. That we're going to keep. We're going to chop down all this. This is going to be like our harvest area. Because we don't want to make them go in an area where uh, they could possibly get killed. So, that's kind of what we want to really avoid here. So I'm going to do that just to make sure we can get everything. I don't want to go over here. That's actually a no zone. No, thank you. And then um, for mining, we're going to go up here, over here, over here, over here, and up here. Pretty much that's it. Like, that's a perfect spot for it. I want to avoid this place because that's a huge amount of goblins. And I don't know if they're friendly or not. So what we're going to do next is when we get animals, I'm going to want them to be by our farming area. So right when we get an animal, boom, that's where they're going to go. So, jump right into the house. We're going to go with probably our farming house first. I would like to have my farm kind of be like here. And have my house kind of be around the trees like an orchard. So that'd be kind of cool. Like an orchard or orchard. I forget what people call it. But we're going to go in here. And that's going to be the back door to our house. Going to have it go up. That's going to be like the back room here. Going to go up like this again. Maybe go in like this. This can be like the bedroom here. So we'll have it go like that and say that's the bedroom just like that and then that's the back room like I said we'll have it go like this 
into maybe the living space, like a living room slash kitchen where they can eat. And then we'll go into the, the main room here. So boom, just like that. That's gonna be our house layout. Now that's a lot of wood just for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the door down, door here. And I want a, all I can get, I'm scared of that cold over there, but we'll have a door there and there. And we don't have much wood. So for flooring, we can go with a little bit of stone. So we can do, we can do the kitchen. We can give it some stone flooring. And then for here, if we have enough, which we don't, we can do wood. So let's kind of see what we have enough wood for. Doesn't seem like we have too much wood at all. No. So what we'll do is we'll get that built up and then right away we're going to go ahead and start chopping down trees. So Helen, you are going to instantly become a forester. Marvin, you're going to become a scholar focused on forestry as well. So our people are going to get right to work, hopefully. Now she's going to start kicking stuff. I don't like it when they go for stumps right away. There's no point. You're going to get no wood out of it. That is actually really sick. Look at this, babe. There's a little area that they can walk under. That's really cute. Hey, that's actually really cool. What the heck? That's a cool thing. I didn't know that was there. So next up, I'm going to grab their bed. Oh, migrants arrived already. I'm going to grab their bed. And I'm going to put it in here. Now, they're not lovers yet, so I'm not going to put them side by side. But I am going to put them in the same room. And then I'm going to grab Marvin here. Are you old? Nope. Perfect. I don't accept people that are old. It sounds kind of harsh, but that's like straight up how I do it. I hate getting the old people. I'm like, no thanks. They're just going to die right away. So I don't want that. Next up, we're gonna check what she has. She has no skills at all. So she should have good stuff. Overeater experiences in battles. Just experience in battles are good. Love spring. Overeater is dangerous. I hate that one. All right, Helen, I'm gonna get you to remove this. I'm gonna take care of you. And I'm gonna get you to remove that. And I'm gonna get you to go here. Construct that. Construct that. And then I should be able to give you like a little bed for now over here. So I'll get you to do that real quick. That's gonna make you happy. Take ownership of that. I'm gonna get you to focus on farming and then forestry. So what she's gonna do is she should be able to gather up the apples here. And I should be able to go possibly into work and put this down as well. So I'm gonna just put it in, I'll put it right here for now. I'm gonna grab her and do that. And right away, I'm going to get her to analyze some crystals. And my guy, where are you at, Marvin? Where are you? Right there. Okay, you're hard to see. All right, our people should be okay. It's not bad. Got a nice little house going on right away. It does look a little big, which isn't too bad. Uh, but hopefully everything goes according to plan here. I'm surprised they're not going to sleep. Oh, I think it's because they're... Are they both tireless? I forget that. Tireless. Tireless. Yep. Overeater. What could I do? It costs two points to get rid of Overeater. What's it cost to get rid of bad health? Three points, yeah, it's a big pain in the butt. Um, and then Marvin, I don't think you have anything too bad, do you? Besides allergic to tomatoes? No, not really. Uh, you wanna become buddies with Helen? Okay, cool. When she's done eating, I'll grab you and then maybe you can chat her up. Helen, come here, girl. Let's see how they're doing. And then, oh shit, don't do it. There you go, do that one, perfect. Boom, happy man. Now I can get rid of allergic to tomatoes as soon as possible, which is sweet. And then we're good there. And we already pretty much have farming learned, which is fantastic. So I want, I'm gonna put our farm over here instead. We can even put a little fence. So if we want, we can grab that door and put it on this side instead. Nice, that's done, and then straight up into writing. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into farming, and we're gonna get this farm situated. Now I'm gonna turn it this way, because I think it'll look nicer. And we're gonna go just like that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a big farm, honestly. There we go, really big farm. That's gonna provide us lots of food. And then we're gonna do a divider, and we're gonna go over here for the potatoes because we don't by the time this far harvest is done we're gonna do really well i'm gonna get you to come construct that i'm gonna get you to come construct that i'm gonna change your job into farming i'm gonna change your job into farming of a tier two like that get you to come construct this 
And then everybody should hopefully start focusing. Nope, they're gonna go over there. I don't know why they do that. Can I get them to focus on this stuff? They want to build up their house. You know what? Whatever. You guys want to do that? Do it. It's fine. I'll let you do it. I don't want them to build the house first just for the sheer fact that I'd rather them get focused on food. What's more important, you know? Find it. Although, technically, I guess having a place to stay warm and not wet is way more important than finding early food. Because early food is kind of fine. Because you can find food pretty much anywhere. Like, realistically. But in a game, you know? Like, my people are going to die. They only got... They got freaking 39 food. Like, they're going to starve to death. I don't know what they're doing. Where, is, where do they even go? Okay, I want you guys to... Can you focus on that? That'd be fantastic, please. You. What are you doing? You going to sleep? Yep. Okay, I don't want you... As farmers, I don't want you guys to... Gather cotton, care for animals, cook food. I just want you to tend fields right now. And then once that's fully done for, then you guys can go ahead and do that. Now, I did take off all my mods, so I can't organize a lot of stuff. So they're pretty much going to do whatever they want, which is really annoying. So I'm going to grab you. You're getting apples, which is really nice. Okay, just keep doing this, please. I don't know why they do this. This is so annoying. But I'm going to have to, like, manually do it because they're too busy trying to focus on building our base, which would kind of suck. But hopefully, they do what I want by me manually doing this while the other guy over there is building the entire base. So it's nice that she's a, the Helen's there freaking doing that for me while I can really just focus on doing this. By the time these are all done, we should be okay here. She's really annoying though. She keeps going inside because she's trying to build the house. There we go. That's good enough. I'm okay with that. I do want to tame these cows before they migrate into an area where it's like not safe. Because right now we are beside these horned tiki man with the red and blue faces. So we're beside these guys here, which will attack us on sight, which sucks. This guy here is nice to us, which is awesome. The proud goblins. Show location. They live up here. I don't know why their heads are white, but all right. They're actually, they're pretty close. So if we keep them in good contact with us, if we ever get attacked and we can't handle it, we can call them for help. What should be sweet. Bro, what are you doing? It's so annoying that they do this. Like, it's as if they don't want to build, like, the farm. Dude, you got to build this. What is wrong with you? You having some, like, handicap moments? Like, i got to fix this. Anyways, i got to change this guy's name to Liam the Fire God. Boom. Liam the Fire God. i got to change... Helen to Alicia because this girl, she's pretty cute. Alicia Love, that's her name. It's dedicated to you, baby. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay. Alicia Love, you're in this. And then Hel and then we got Liam. And then whoever wants to be Helen, Hel Helena, Hel Helena, I don't know how you say it. But that's, that's uh, you know, just leave the name down below or in the Discord. And uh, you'll have a higher chance of being named after somebody in the Discord than you would if you comment down below on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and do the floor. Do you have enough for that now? We do. Sweet. So that's nice. Our little house is going to be completed, which is really good. Well, we're getting the glitch. I think... Oh, no, there we go. I was going we're getting glitch where it doesn't show me the roof, but... The house looks pretty big, but that's okay. We're going to get a freaking epic fence and stuff like that to kind of board this off. This is not a really good spot for it. I can't really do anything about that, but... Oh, well. What is she doing? Is she going to go to bed now? No, I'm just going to go build the floor. All right, what do you, girl? And then we're going to start focusing on properly getting things built up. So right away, we're going to build into storage. And wood would be nice. It's going to give us 100 extra wood. I would like that to go possibly, honestly, right here. And then we'll go 17 wood only. We'll go with stone stockpile i'm gonna put it over by honestly we don't really have an area for stone i guess for now we can just leave it outside kind of like here and then for the crystals we can kind of leave it like up here yeah right there perfect and then what we'll do is we'll whenever we harvest them they're pretty much going to go there which will be nice now, we got six in total, so that'll go up to six. I won't go all the way, but that's okay. 
Our chick is working on our farming, so we're gonna get really well done, actually. I'm surprised she's doing this instead of farming. I don't understand. It's really confusing. But now that everything's pretty much grown, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. There we go. Everything should be going according to plan now. Sweet. That's awesome. Now as things go by, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but I feel like it's gonna be nice. Especially because they're gonna start getting things properly set up. If that's all done for, that will go up over in time. We got a bug infestation already, are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to get these people to come here as soon as possible because they're gonna instantly kill all of our plants. Gee, bus, watch this, it's gonna get real bad real quick. Go, Helena, save it. Yes, they showed up in time, hopefully. Oof! That could have been really bad. That could have just killed our entire crop field. Like, oh my god, that would have sucked. That actually been absolutely horrible. So next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with the table. Oh, a trader's arrived, nice. Too bad we don't have an animal to sell. What we can do is we can go with right there. Then we can go, we can get a chair later. I'm gonna grab you, you're eating, but you should be fine in a second. Once you're done eating, perfect. Let me grab you to come trade. And we have all the medicines and potions that you don't need early on, we can get rid of that. Now, I'm looking for axes. It doesn't seem like they have any. They have pickaxes, which is okay. They don't really need that. Two scrolls would be sweet. Because two scrolls is going to allow us to go right into medicine. They are selling a cow. If we had a cow, we could get a huge profit off of them. Because we have an iron pickaxe, which would be sweet. But even if we gave all of our stuff, I don't think we can get... Yeah, we could get an iron pickaxe. It's not really worth it. It'd be all of our stuff. We can get two of these. Pulling these, gaining 50 from the deal. There you go. So we can give up three. We can do that, actually. We can keep what? We can keep... Actually, I'd rather keep these. We're gaining 50. I don't really care about 50. There's nothing we can buy for that cheap. Um, if we do this, we'll keep our illness medicine. We'll keep one healing potion two illness, and one illness medicine. You know what? Fine. That's fine. Uh, paying that much. There you go. We'll pay 100 and we'll trade like this. And that's going to give us our... What's healing potion? I almost bought healing potions. Oh my god, that would have sucked. I almost bought two healing potions. That would have been a big pain in the butt. Alright, I want two scrolls. There we go. Thank you. And with that, after this, we're going to go right into basic medicine. Once we get woodworking. It's, they're huge. They're huge gains. But like, honestly, it's going to really help us out. So, it's going to be sweet. I like how we have a front door and a back door. Stupid small things. Like, this is just to have access to our crops. But it, it looks nice. Even the door is different. I didn't even notice that. Oh, it's because the door is, I think, inside out. You know what? That's fine by me. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, well. It's fine. It looks cool. Now, what I... I mm. If I switch this, does it get rid of the points? I think it does, right? I need woodworking as soon as possible after uh, after this. But, oh well, we'll get there eventually. I want to, yeah, our guy's chopping wood down, which is nice. I want to get some chairs. Chair there. Chair there. Chair there. Liam broke his leg. <sighs> this is why you rush writing. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Liam. Liam, are you dead serious right now? Okay, Liam and... Oh my god, I'm so triggered by that. Helena and Alicia are going to have to rush research. Because if we don't fix Liam's leg, he's going to be limp forever. And having a limp character is horrible. They're insanely slow. That's like if I raced Usain Bolt. Like, it's not good. Usain's going to lose. Like, it's going to be crazy. So, we're going to gather up as much crystal as we can. And if somebody else breaks their leg, I'm going to be so pissed. Because they shouldn't be kicking. This is why you get... So, what have we learned? We've learned that woodworking is extremely useful. Because it's going to allow us to get wooden tools. It's going to have our, our racks everything. So, our people aren't kicking. They're actually mining and wood cutting. Where he broke his leg kicking a tree. But, writing is more important. Because by the time you had woodworking, he would have broken his leg already, most likely. And without writing, we're not actually able to 
make any gains from it. Like, Liam would be crippled still, and we would have to get 20 gems just to even figure out this dang thing. So it's going to take quite a little bit. Honest to God, Liam. <sighs> you mother trucker. You know what? You're going to be the thumbnail of this video. There you go. <laughs> Oh man, that's crazy. I can't believe it. But guys, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and fun stuff down below. My name is Daniel. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Founder's Fortune. Will we survive? Will Liam fix his leg? Find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball is in your mouth. Peace!